Well, happy Wednesday, everybody, my friends. Uh, devotion today, of course, we're fanning into flame. And I was in the Boy Scouts, and that did not last very long, I have to admit. Uh, but uh, one of the things we had to do in camping, obviously, and I remember one trip particularly in uh, January, it was very cold, uh, we went up to Real Foot Lake uh, up in northwest Tennessee. It's basically a finger of the Mississippi River, but uh, in the winter, the bald eagles uh, from up north would fly that far south. And uh, anyway, we could see the bald eagles. That was kind of the highlight. But one of the lowlights was freezing our tails off, uh, sleeping in those tents. And if it weren't for uh, learning how to make a fire, uh, it would have been uh, probably frozen to death, I believe. And so there's no greater motivation to uh, learning how to build your own fire uh, than it being, you know, 10 degrees outside. So the uh, one of the keys there is once you get this ember, the spark to uh, light, is that you have to give it air. Air is uh, the fuel. Oxygen is the fuel for the fire. And so you have to add extra oxygen by you blow or you fan and uh, into flame, right? These sparks, these embers will ignite and create fire. Well, still looking at that uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, you know, Paul's writing uh, to his uh, protege, uh, Pastor Timothy. And in verse 6 today, though, we looked at 7, but just in verse 6, he writes this. He says, For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Now, God has made me personally kind of a, a learner. I, kind of, I love to read, take classes, obviously, kind of a lifelong learner. Uh, a gift I have is maybe being self-assured. Uh, um, and then obviously any of these, any gift uh, to the extreme can be dangerous. Uh, but I'm value-driven. Um, I, I think I'm able to put things and in, in people and places uh, that set them up for success. Um, I don't know, have you ever kind of taken inventory uh, for yourself? How, how has God gifted you? Right, put it in the comments here. It's private. It doesn't go public. Just I'm the only one that says it. Just type in the comments. Take an inventory, right? How do you think God has gifted you? Uh, maybe he's made you comfortable in front of crowds that's a rare gift but people are have that it's a very good gift to have because it is rare some people are very hard working very strong work ethic uh, some people are gifted uh, in the way that they're just so attentive to detail uh, some people are a careful thinker well god has made you right body and soul and mind and that means you have characteristics that are as unique to you as your fingerprint and your DNA. There's no other human being like you or, or ever has been or ever will be. God has created you for a very special purpose that only you can fulfill. And those gifts uh, that he's given you give you, uh, those gifts have been uh, laid at your feet <clears throat> for a, a purpose, right? It's for the good of those who you love and that was certainly the, the case with Timothy uh, he had gifts and his uh, spiritual father Paul uh, saw those gifts and he encouraged those gifts and he said fan into flame those gifts don't be content uh, to just have the gifts uh, but cultivate them right develop them lean into them They've been given to you, and now make the most of them. And maybe you're asking right now, hey, Pastor Mark, how do I fan into flame my gifts? That's a fair question. And uh, maybe the acronym ILF <laughs> will help you. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't come up with the actual acronym. I-L-P-F, I-L-P-F. Identify, learn, practice, feedback. Right? Identify those gifts that you have, like I said, 
put them in the comments. I, I'd love to see what how God's gifted you. Uh, there's assessments that I can uh, share with you, uh, kind of spiritual gift inventory. Maybe you've heard of those. And then learn about those gifts. What are they like? Uh, who else has those gifts? Maybe that's something, you know, an, a vocation or a volunteer place in the church or whatever. Maybe God would want me to use those gifts too. Um, oh, learn what, what the dangers are when you misuse those particular gifts. The next, of course, is practice. Right? You don't get it. You're not going to get good at anything uh, unless you practice. Right? Just endless cycles of trying and failing, trying and failing. That's practice. And then finally, get feedback. Ask people close to you. Uh, hey, I tried using my gift. How do you think it went today? Uh, what, what should I think about next time? And as you live in your God-given gifts, watch as the Lord carries out his will. And it's one of the greatest joys there is, is when God is working through you and you can sense uh, that, that power of God and that, that impact that you're making in other people's lives everywhere, uh, in whatever gift uh, you have. It's, it's one of the greatest joys in life. So let me pray with you. And you get on with your day. Let's pray. Uh, uh, Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, the gift that we have. And we know that they are from you. Help us to, to use them in ways that build your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, guys. Have a great day. See you soon.